Hey, you're driving down this road, and right in here is where you pull in. This is my campground. I've got a picnic table. Fire ring. And a lantern pole. There's a well nearby, but they haven't tested it for water sanitary, so I'm not drinking any. And it's got pit toilets right there, men and women. There are actually two of them. This is called the Pines Campground in the Jefferson National Forest. There are 10 camping spots and two of them have what they call double spots. They have got two picnic tables and two lantern poles. Still only one fire ring though. Another nice thing about this is you are allowed to burn down in dead wood. So you can have a campfire here providing there's no fire ban. And there's not right now. It rained yesterday. And uh, I'm up in elevation so it's pretty cool. Which, I mean, it's, it gets up to about 79 to 82 during the day. However, it rained yesterday coming in, and I was a little worried that I was going to have a muddy road. But when I was about five miles away, it stopped raining, pulled in, and everything was pretty much dry. A lady nearby said, you picked a good spot because... This campground had storms all the way around us, but they never came on us. So that was pretty good. To the back of me here is a hill, which I'm going to hike up and explore today. It goes on up. I'll find out more about that later. But this is free. One of the best things about camping. Boondocking. Just having a free spot. Well, this hill is steep. And I'm climbing it. Oh, and there's the van. Lots of little bugs buzzing my ears. This tree caught fire. Scorched. And then something chopped in there. Interesting. Well, I'm at the top. Looks like this is just a little mound. Well, I shouldn't say little mound, but. There's no other hills around. It's steep getting up here. I was hoping maybe I'd pick up a cell signal. There's no cell service at this parking campground. Got a sign here. Here we go. Close the motorized vehicles, motorized equipment hang gliders and bicycles. Well, I won't be doing any of that up here anyhow. And I found a surveying pen. 1993. BCW something. Interesting. Right here at the top of the mound. Here's the sign to the water path. And there's the path. We're going to go down see if we can make that pump work. See if anything comes out. There's the well, or the water pump. Well, let's see what happens. <coughs> Nothing yet. This is all dry. Don't know if that's a good sign or not. I don't know what this does. It turns. 
me not being a water well magician I don't know I guess here's where some water can come out and that's dry too well I'll pump here a few minutes to see what happens well it does work here's some water coming out lift to fill I read a little closer that says lift to fill so when you're pumping come out here but it's not doing it yet I guess I got to do more pumping it's coming out the bottom there we go lift the fill so if you got a jug or something you can use that it also comes out here Pretty neat. It's cold. There is also trash receptacles. And they're locked up here. But you just unclip that. It's not hard. And then you can throw your trash away. Nothing wrong with that. Here's the greeting board. It's open April 1st to December 7th. And here's a little map of the campground. I'm over here in campsite 5. Here's where the water well is. And then this is number 10. So there's basically 10 campsites here. And across the street here, you got this creek. Although, like I said, I'm up here in 5. There is a creek running right here before I get to that mound. Pretty neat. And there's no fee for camping here. Quiet hours from 10 to 6. Fires must be in fire rings only. Picnic sites for visitors. Not spending the night. Don't leave your site unattended overnight. Oh, and please don't feed the bears. Famous whipper wheel. Flew over a little while ago and landed in a tree above me. And when I got the camera, it flew away. It's coming somewhere in that direction. I make an interesting car along. I was out hiking around the campsite here at the Pines, came across the road, found a path, went down the path, found this nice huge fire pit with stumps and everything, firewood, this looks like a place that the Boy Scouts might use or something. There's no real road in here, so you have to pack it in and then pack it out. There's also a nice little stream right here. Sounds lovely. Well, I am leaving the Pines Campground. It's Sunday, June 5th, I believe. I've had a blast there. It was a good time. The only downside was no cell service, no internet, but it was good just to unwind and relax, and I got a couple videos done, so that's all good. Had a good time there. Met one lady, she camps in a Nissan Rogue. She's a nomad, she's full time. I don't know how she does it, reminds me of Hike With Me. But she's enjoying her life, so that's all that matters. Hey everyone, hope you're having fun. I am, and you should be too. Well, Rose and Betty 
they were having wine wine down time let's just say and they were sitting on the porch and a couple chameleons are going by on the floor there and and they get up on a branch of the bushes nearby Rose's house there and one of the chameleons turns brown and the other one's still sort of gray from the porch and Ro Betty says Rose that chameleon it didn't turn like the other one did it didn't change color Rose looked at it and then Ring goes ah I know why reptile dysfunction <laughs>